We got a street certified news special report. Uh man, shout out the homie Smokey, man. Street certified Smokey, bro. You got some news for us, man, on this Floyd uh Mayweather situation? Yes, sir. Shit, basically it's been reported ever since the Devin Haney fight that Floyd has been stuck in Dubai for the past 60 days at at least. Um over some stolen jewelry that somebody he was associated with took and um floyd basically paid the money for it but they're not you know accepting that money right now they want their jury back um and according to multiple sources that's close to the situation in the boxing community that this is a legit story so uh one thing i realized uh while researching is that you know with dubai money is not <laughs> the answer you know, sometimes you can't buy your way out of things, especially with people like that who very are in tune with their morals and values. They want what's what's owed to them. So, right. This this is a story that broke um, the day after the the night of the David David Haney fight. Tank came out with it. Um, you had other multiple sources saying it. Um, I think the most uh, notable one was Tank, and you know, Tank and Floyd got their little beef going on right now. So. So what happened? Yeah, what was up with that Floyd video? They said Floyd actually made a video where he admitted that he was stuck in Dubai. Yeah, Floyd made a video. Uh, Floyd made a video stating, kind of slightly stating that he had been in uh, Dubai for the past, at that time, 40 to 50 days. So with that being said, it's like he lightweight admitted it. So with him admitting it in some way, shape, or form that he's been in Dubai for a period of time, you know, kind of confirms that he's over there. So at the least... You know he's over there, and then with all these reports coming out about the two million dollars and uh, the jury and stuff, that just lends more credence to what's going on right now. Just going off of what you said, I know we spoke about this earlier when we read the reports. So a person in Floyd's camp stole some jewelry, and yes. he was literally able to get out the country or to get away from authorities. Yep, and in the process, blocks Floyd Mayweather um and cuts all communication now that has been reported but that was already circulating a couple of days before the story broke i just think a lot of people wanted to make sure they was reporting on something that was legit because i oh, mean the first, the first night i seen it i was ready to call you at like two o'clock in the morning like hey man we got to take the story right now because this this could be some some big news you know right now i mean we talked about it and even yesterday when we talked about it i kept saying like man like who do we owe how much do we owe like we know he's stuck but we don't know all of the details so today basically a report came out uh from the dude jay glazer um and shout out to i believe it's a twitter page city of the t or something like that so shout them out because basically everybody's going to be reporting today that they kind of know what's going on with floyd um, he's stuck in Dubai over some stolen jewelry. So do they? They so Floyd already paid for the jewelry. It sounds like Floyd already paid him, but it sounds like Dubai is more or less on some. Your money can't buy your way out of everything, and that just goes to show you, like when you got that much money, like Floyd got, you would think you know you surrounding yourself with people that got money too, and they're not doing as we would say bum ass activities, right? You know. Now, nah, facts, bro. Shit, it's it's a crazy story to me. Like I said, it's a story that we've been following for a few days. The shit been kind of coming in, uh, like you said, ever since uh the Devin Haney uh, Ryan Garcia fight. It seemed that Gervonta, you know, um, I guess so. Gervonta, let let me let me let me run it back even further. So so Shakur Stevenson, after the Devin Haney Ryan Garcia fight, he challenges Tank Davis to a fight. Yep, on Floyd's Instagram page. Right, and, and, and Floyd basically he uses Floyd's Instagram to send a message to uh to Tank Davis, and right. Tank Davis' response to that was, "Nigga, your ass still stuck in Dubai," and made a whole bunch of other claims that you know I don't really want to put facts attached to them claims, but I will say he made a lot of claims of uh uh things taking place in his gym and to him or his daughter or something like that over yeah some okay yeah i heard that okay so yeah i heard so that so some guys had came in floyd gym and basically they was looking for floyd looking for floyd looking for somebody that oh something and and floyd daughter happened to be at the gym something along those lines and these guys 
So these guys kind of ran up on Floyd's daughter and kind of pressed her and gave her a message for her dad. It sounds like from what Tank was saying. And uh, one thing I did notice that, that really caught my attention was the, the, the thing that really intrigued me to the story was is what started this whole thing was the fact that Shakur called out Tank for a fight, which back in the day, you wouldn't have to call nobody out because everybody was just going to fight regardless. Facts. Nowadays, you got these fighters. And I, and I love Tank to death, but I, I just I can't get with the whole you can't call me out movement because you cloud chasing. So that right there started a wildfire for Tank to come in and attack Floyd because, you know, they split from their business right. uh, dealings. And that came uh, that gave Tank the ammunition to be like, hey, man, you know, you basically siding with the op because that's how Tank look at him. And you're not uh, you're going to allow this to happen. So I'm going to go ahead and drop all your secrets. Yeah, man. Hey, that's crazy, man. So real quick, man, um, we got a picture of the guy that they're saying allegedly. We're going to put allegedly on there, but we're going to show uh, the picture. But we got a picture of the guy who they allegedly saying got away with this jewelry and then ghosted Floyd. Does Dubai do so Dubai? They've already been paid. They want the jury back. Do they also want the guy back? Do they want the guy to like come back, bring the jury, do whatever, like take his case? Like, what's up with that? I'm gonna say this for the fact that Dubai has strict laws on taking pictures and in their religious spaces and things like that. I'm pretty sure they want him back too. So it's more or less like we want the jury, we want the culprit, or your ass ain't going nowhere. So, and that's and that's basically what we reporting today. Uh, what's this Wednesday, May 1st, man? Uh, the news just broke maybe about 20, 30 minutes ago that the reason Floyd's stuck in Dubai is over this stolen jewelry that he's already paid for. But like you said, in Dubai, it's about morals. It's about principles. We want the jury back. We want the thief back. And until you do that, we can't release you. Yeah, more or less. And I don't think uh, Dubai, I could be wrong on this. Don't nobody quote me, but I don't think Dubai has extradition laws. And the only way the uh, U the U.S. government is going to get involved is if Floyd makes a stink about it, which I can respect because Floyd sound like to me, if he ain't made a stink about this. He's keeping it player, right? Yeah, you know, he like, fuck it, I'm going to go ahead and take this lick out. We're we going we gonna to make this right because at the end of the day, Floyd is the ultimate businessman. People can right. say what they want, but when you talk about following a blueprint for success in the financial space after and during boxing, Floyd is the one you want to follow. So I could understand why he wouldn't make a stink. He like, man, I got business out here. I, we got to make this right. Hell yeah. It's that Floyd want to keep doing business with Dubai. Yeah. So this is really messing up his business. Yeah. And, um, and putting a bad mark on his name. Right. And it's crazy because when I first heard it was somebody in Floyd's camp, I'm going to be honest. When I first heard it was somebody in Floyd's camp, I said, damn, mm -hmm. one of the young niggas got caught yeah. with their hand in the cookie jar. That's just... What That's we what thought, like, no, yeah, like, I just thought it was a young dude, a young dude, you know what I'm saying? One of the young fighters or somebody like that. When I saw the picture of the guy, hmm. I'm like, yo, this is like a, is this a white dude? Is this like an Arab guy? Like, this not a person who you would normally see or think about when you think Floyd Kemp, you might not think about this guy. Facts, he looked white, honestly, and it looked more like a uh, dude. And, you know, just looking at the picture, it seemed like he was close to Floyd in some way. And, you know, when you got people that you rock with like that, that close, especially that age group, that age group, you know, you don't expect them to do something like that.